Cairnholy 1, near Creetown in Dumfries and Galloway, Scotland. Cairnholy 1 is the most iconic prehistoric site in the Dumfries and Galloway area of South West Scotland. A second site known as Cairnholy 2 is a 150 metre walk up the farm track. Cairnholy 1 is the more elaborate of the two sites. This megalithic construct was carefully located on a sloping hill high above Wigton Bay. The Isle of Man is visible on a clear day. The landscape around the Cairnholy sites is rich in prehistoric relics, which have endured, sometimes completely intact, from deep antiquity. Our ancient ancestors found this area very important. The site is known as a Clyde Cairn design type found in southwest Scotland. Eight standing stones make up a curved facade which is the main feature. An aerial view of the site is reminiscent of a bird with the upright stones resembling the wings, the body being the inner chambers and the recumbent forecourt stone as the head. Cairnholy 1 is considered to be over 5,000 years old. What we see today is a skeleton of what once was. Originally the site extended past the modern wall and car park to 45 metres by 10 metres wide. The material that made up the cairn mass would have been used for building material and field walls. Sparse remnants of this cairn can still be seen. There are two chambers here. The inner compartment was constructed as a closed box. This was lightly covered by a capstone. The outer chamber was accessed through the thin facade. Inside the cairn, two slabs that make up the burial chamber have rock art. The two chambers are orientated roughly east-west, which may suggest a spring and autumn equinox function. This is the day where night and day are of equal balance. This key time of the year was likely very important to our ancient ancestors. Terence Powell and Stuart Piggott, both archaeologists, excavated the site in 1949. A very interesting find was part of a green jade ceremonial axe. This was found in the outer chamber. Even more interesting was the axe came from the European Alps. Other finds during the excavation were pitch stone from the Isle of Arran, a stone hole, a leaf-shaped arrowhead, a flint knife, pottery and six fires with hearths. The acidic soil has dissolved nearly all the bone long before the 1949 excavation. The National Museum of Edinburgh holds a rock-carved spiral design from Cairnholy 1. Both Cairnholy sites are located just off the A75 road between Creetown and Gatehouse of Fleet. The site is in the care of Historic Environment Scotland and is well signposted from the main road. No doubt Cairnholy holds many secrets waiting to be discovered. Before Caledonia is a historical project which looks at the vast prehistoric sites in Scotland and focuses on the Neolithic and Bronze Age, stone circles, standing stones and rock art. Please consider becoming a Patreon for exclusive benefits while supporting my work, thanks to my current Patreons. Join Before Caledonia on Facebook. Thanks for watching and a huge thanks to our ancient ancestors.